So, as a kid, I wasn't exactly a flat earther, but I believe that if you went into space and went down to the bottom, you'd get to the land of the universe. And I held this belief since I was like eight or nine. I came up with this idea, and I would play around with it, and I would think about it. We were on the bus. I was looking out the window, and I was looking at the the land, the grass, everything that we went by, and I was just imagining that we were in space, looking looking down, looking down at the land of the universe. I also had this idea of this never-ending tree or these giant trees, and some of them would probably come out of the land of the universe, and they would go up many, 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 many um, galaxies wide. Like, what do they what do they call that? Lights light years like they'd be so long like the length of a of a galaxy and how many people do you know come up with that kind of stuff what kind of imagination is that as a kid but that's kind of where I was another idea that I had I'm not exactly not exactly sure if I came up with it but I would play with my brother, and we'd go into the into the elevator, and we'd go up to a higher floor. The elevator was our closet. We grew up in the ghetto, in a trailer, and you go in, and then you go up, and you're inside a building. So you, so you go up the elevator, and the elevator just goes up to the next floor. Except there's like an infinite amount of floors. Like so many, a crazy amount. Like thousands or millions or billions or more. But uh, in in um, like one, one, of the, one of the games related to that that we played was, um, or maybe it was the only game that we played. At least, I mean, I would play it by myself sometimes, but... Uh, one of the things we would do that I would do with my brother is um, I would always pretend that I was old. I was like an old guy. And uh, I, I, th I forget the details. I think it was like he goes in the elevator, he comes back, or he goes to another floor and I'm there. But I'm like, now I'm older. So first, like, I'm an old guy. And I'm like, I'm an old guy. And then later on, I'm even older. So it's like, I'm an old guy. And then I'm even older now. I'm a really old guy. And I just keep on changing my voice that way. It was a lot of fun. You would have to be there. You would have to be there. So, there. Let me be like the fawns. Let me put on some leather. This rat, I need some leather. Oh, I was supposed to try to fix the the audio in the video for this. Realize that the video size is so big. Like just a few minutes of a video turns turns into a hundred megabytes. Like I don't have that kind of space. A hundred megabytes? Man. Like just wanna break everything. Oh wait, everything's already broken. I spent all day trying to work on trying to fix these bugs where my computer freezes up all of a sudden and I had to hard restart. And uh, it does that every once in a while. And even though it's like this is like my new laptop, my 2021 SS laptop. And I'm like, oh man, why is it doing this? Maybe I am an old man. Maybe I do live on the land of the universe. Maybe I do need to run around and swing from tree to tree on the land of the universe. Fighting the Power Rangers, fighting Law Kick, fighting Law... Losing my mom, but rocking my socks off. Trying to go places where I've never been before. Going boldly where no man has gone before. Can you feel what the rock is cooking tonight? What the rock is going to cook tonight? This right young rock is here. This right because everybody hates Chris. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Can you smell what the oatmeal is cooking? Can you try to restore my discord? No way, I would say. Then I'll tell everybody about 
what he did, what Drelly Jones did, and everybody would roll their eyes and say, we don't care that he did a bad thing because we don't just, we, we, we don't like you, or, you know, we don't like you, so we're just gonna call you a loser, call you spam and everything, and then I'm gonna go on little up chops, uh, what, what do they call themselves, oh yeah, they call themselves the up chunk, the, no, the up chunk, that's right. I always get it wrong. I can't remember what they're called because I barely watch their videos, but they do some good videos and It's like we should get along because they do this like parody thing and they have a discord called up shuck and I tell the people I tell Dennis I tell them what what this guy did and it's like they were gonna ban him anyways, but they're like oh no, we're just gonna ban you instead because you're letting us know that he did a terrible thing. But we're gonna let him slide. And I should get along with this guy. This guy who just like totally nuked my Discord server. Because we're working together. And he's like all into this VSS stuff. Video tapes. These old video cassettes, you know, that you'd pop into your VCR back in the day, 20 years ago, 40 years ago, back when it was new in the 1980s, and like he's into all this retro stuff, this vintage stuff, this right, it's not record players, but it might as well be a Walkman, it's my, it, it, it might as well be all that kind of stuff, because it's like, it's from that era, it's from that long ago, it's like, wow, I'm almost 40 years old, it's like, this is my life, and, and he's connected to all these different channels that that do those things on YouTube. And he had a Reddit where he's, like, trying to collect all these old uh, videos of, like, introductions to, like, Hollywood uh, production companies like Fox and Disney and, and all the other lesser-known companies and... Uh, He's all into it, all this stuff. The same as me, and that's why I put my trust in him. And I'm like, all right, you can be my my editor. No, maybe not my editor, but you can be like a moderator. And then I made him an administrator. Administrator? Uh, what? What? Sounds like minerator. No, administrator. That's right. But then I accidentally gave him all the power to do anything, to delete the channels. So I told Discord a bunch of times on Twitter and in email and in the forums and they've been ignoring me, kind of like YouTube. I was hoping that they would do the right thing, but maybe they won't do it. And that's pretty devastating, but it's like, maybe I just need to get out of here and find the, the lost city of Atlantis. Maybe the Earth is flat. No, maybe it's not. I don't know. I go back and forth on that, but it's probably not flat, but... I do like to listen to people, and I hope this is not, like, illegal to talk about on YouTube. Please don't delete my videos. You'd be surprised if you don't already know that there's a lot of things that you can't say on YouTube. It's pretty devastating. Pretty devastating. I lose a lot, and, uh, it scars you up when you get, you get hit, and you get knocked down. And it happens, and I have... Made a big deal about it because I believe that if it can happen to me, it can happen to you. That's right. I believe that it's fundamental to understand that when something is bad, that it's bad. And you need to talk about the bad thing that the bad people do. Or even, even if it's not a bad person, would a thing. It's like, you know the thing and it's bad. It's like, that's my porn. That's why I talk about stuff and I bring it up and stuff. It's like... It's not just because I'm, like, into drama. Like, I'm not really into drama, but it looks like I am into drama. I just want to get to the bottom of things and try to talk about things and try to try to understand things and try to help people. I want to really help people save money and stuff, and I feel like it's crazy how much money people spend on so many things, how much time they spend. Like, people spend so much time and so much money on so many things that it's devastating. Yeah, I know, no pain, no gain, so it's like, what do you expect, but it's like, you know, it's just, it's a lot of work and everything, and so, um, there's a lot of problems, but it's like, there are a lot of good solutions out there, but what do I know, 
I'm just oatmeal coughing away. Just trying to <laughs> end it coughing away myself into the outer limits. That's right. The outer limits of the land of the universe. Because what better than the land of the universe? And if you dig deep into the land of the universe, you run into even more stars. Like an even bigger universe. And then you get to the bottom of it, and you find another land of the universe that's even bigger than the previous one. I think that was part of it, too. And I would also play the Power Rangers by myself in the 90s. And one of the biggest plots that I would play would be, I gotta get to the, the biggest bad guy. Now, who was that? Was it Rita Repulsa? No. Was it Lord Zed? No. It was these characters I came up with, Lot and, and Lockhead. Lot was the main villain in the first movie, and Lockhead was played by my my cat. That's right. With a gray cat. And he was the um, the main villain in the second movie we made. Or almost made. I filmed the first part of the movie in 97 and the main villain was Law Kent and he was he was there to take down the power wrenches and the the plot for me was I'm, I'm all, I was always the blue ranger most of the time and I would try to find a way to get to Law Kent but I would have to sneak up on him. And so the idea was he had like a bunch of computers because like he has a like a command center of his own. He has like a bunch of computers and stuff that runs his, you know, like like a supercomputer, like a series of computers that are like so big because he's like he's a evil king a lord of like the entire universe or a bunch of galaxies and so he lives on a he sits on a throne and behind him is like a massive collection of computers except you know these these rooms of computers are like so big that they're like many many light years long Kind of like the idea of the land of the universe, except it's like with a villain. And the idea, the plot was, I have to go sneak into the very back of all this stuff and slowly work my way through it like a maze in order to um, either kill the main villain, Lawcat, or um, maybe I can like mess mess up the cords and stuff, like hack into the computers and stuff. And I'm like so deep into the the back rooms of the computers and everything that nobody would know. Like perhaps there were some security guards, but they're not everywhere. And so it's like you're hiding behind all the computers and the servers and and everything. And and I was like. A sneaky little devil. And that was like. Revolutionary. The idea is like you hide. And you hope the. The villains don't find you. And then you're going to hack into that system. And find a way to. <laughs> this was like way before. Edward Snowden. Hacking into the, the DMC or whatever. Like It's like. Billy the Blue Ranger. The. The Edward Snowden before there was an Edward Snowden or there, there was Billy Breaker, the Blue Ranger, hacking in, trying to save the world one open at a time, one little computer at a time, one little land of the universe at a time. And that's what I was trying to do. That's what I was trying to trying to trying to get at. Raising my hands out, boldly going where no oatmeal's gone before. And it's like, yeah. I did that. And sometimes you just gotta... Bite it. I mean, you have to... Take the bite. I mean... You have to... 
do stuff for the greater good. No, I'm joking. That's a scam. For the most part. I mean, there's some generalities that may be true. Some, I mean, what am I saying? Some exceptions that, that might be true. But a lot of the stuff that you might know, some of the stuff that you might hear about are massive scams. And I'm not going to talk about them. Because YouTube will delete another 10,000 videos. Wait, I don't think I have another 10,000 videos. I have like maybe another 5,000 videos that are still on YouTube. Maybe less. I don't know. But I have around 40 channels. Maybe less than 40 channels. And a lot of them I got locked out. And some of them got terminated. Suspended. And I'm trying not to get any more like taken down. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be taken down that's bad some people might say you're sabotaging yourself the big flopper might say that the old buck might say that a lot of people may say that you can say what you want to say but I'll tell you why I try not to sabotage myself but when the going gets tough the tough gets going and I've been I've been stuck in the middle of some of the stuff and so much is going on and I just feel overwhelmed sometimes and trying to get stuff done. And I uh, want to explain by carefully going through my entire life. I'm writing it down. I'm making videos and a lot more. But I'm not ready to totally and absolutely walk through everything. Right now, even though I have, sometimes I wonder what's the point because I already did, and then YouTube removes over 10,000 videos. And when that happens, you feel like, why should I put any effort into anything I do anymore? Why should I try to edit a video and make a video really good when YouTube can just take it at any time and then lie about it on Twitter and in email and everywhere they ghost me they lie about me they pretend like they were they were they were justified but they were not and I try to write articles and I try to make videos talking about it so that people will protest and call them up and email them and write letters to them but apparently I have no fans Maybe I have some fans, but it seems like I don't have any hardcore fans. Some people kind of look at me sometimes, from time to time. Some people are curious. And some people might even go on Discord. Link in the description of this video. Not that you would ever click on it because I know you're a soy boy. That's right. You're a soy boy. You're not going to go to my Discord. That's right. My other Discord, I mean, because obviously the original one was nuked. All the channels were deleted. And then I started trying to rebuild it. I'm trying to rebuild it. I'm trying to rebuild my Discord, my original Discord. But there is another Discord, and there's a link to that Discord, and you can go there and see these people who talk about me. Some people will go there and they talk about me. I don't tell them to. I don't beg them to. But some of them are like, yeah, we're going to talk about you because we're like to make fun of you. Because you're a jerk. Because you're a troll. Because you're spam. Because you're doing bad stuff. You're doing this thing and that thing and the other thing. And the list goes on and on and on. I'm not going to tell you exactly what they say. Because then this video will be deleted off the internet and my channels will be deleted off the internet and my 10,000 videos will be deleted off the vid off the off the internet I almost said it without messing up but I still mess up but in life you're gonna mess up so what are you gonna do what are you gonna do about it did I say 10,000 videos yeah I did 
but YouTube already deleted them. So, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh wait, YouTube already did. YouTube already got ahead of all of it and decided, I'm gonna nuke you in 2017, and then 2018, and now 2022. And YouTube is proud of themselves. It's too bad I don't know anybody who works for Google or YouTube. It's too bad they won't go in there and send me my videos. They can pretend like I broke the rules and keep me banned. Just give me my, my data. That's all I ask for. But they can't even do that. Facebook can't do it. Uh, I still want to be totally restored on Twitter. Some of my channels are still banned on Twitter. But it's like, what am I going to do? But it is life. And it is what it is. And you can only do what you can do. Even if you're fat. Like this. But some people kind of like it. And maybe I look kind of good like this. Maybe I do or maybe I don't. But sometimes you got to be happy about it. I had a good day today watching the simple cast and talking about it, thinking about it. That's right. And I was watching Charlie. Charlie, that's right. Charlie. Charlie bit my finger. That's right. Ooh, what a viral video. Charlie Kirk. That's right. It's funny. Some people talk about him. There was a little Bill Gates talking about him. That's right. In Arizona. It's kind of funny because some people, some reporters asked little Bill Gates some questions. And they're like, what about this? What about that? And little Bill Gates is like, oh, you've been watching too much. Charlie, cook. That's right. Cook, beat me up. That's right. I'm a doctor, not a, not a, uh, not a clown. That's right. I'm a doctor, not oatmeal. God damn it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's all I can say. That's all she wrote. That's all I wrote. Try to stay on top of things. And I watch things. And I talk about it on my blog. And I think it's kind of cool and stuff. But then I run into problems. And then I, I become too busy. And that's sort of like the story of my life. I'm in there. And I've done that. And I can tell you. I'm sorry mama. I never meant to hurt you. Never meant to make you cry. But tonight. I'm cleaning out my closet. <laughs>